So $100 million has gone missing from a bank. Our threat intelligence team knew that their customers would be coming to them to ask how it had happened and what it meant for them. So they started digging. They started picking up the thread and looking for clues across the internet. Um, it was very interesting because the targeted systems are usually the most secure systems within a bank. Uh, so the systems that, that were targeted are the bank's gateway into that messaging system. We believe that the threat actors started planning this attack at least eight to nine months before. And we know this because the threat actors aim to withdraw funds from the New York Federal Reserve to two accounts, one in the Philippines and one in Sri Lanka. And these accounts were set up at least eight to nine months prior to the attack. So that critical few hours or few days after the transactions were issued, before compliance officials started to pick up on the risk factors and started to flag them up. That's what the criminal group are relying on, to flow the funds through the financial system before the stop orders can be issued, before the funds can be returned to their rightful owners. So in some way, it's similar to how the forensic examinators look at the normal crime scene and try to establish who could have committed the crime. To some extent, we do the same only in the, in the cyber world. So BA systems ourselves weren't actually a part of the original investigation, but we started investigating the case as part of our normal threat intelligence operations. So my team respond to cyber attacks. These can be cyber attacks on organizations from uh, nation state actors or uh, even non-nation state actors. We did a lot of research around uh, the Bangladesh bank heist uh, and uh, we have done a lot of response work uh, around uh, that, that heist and attacks of similar nature. From what we can tell, it looked to be a, a campaign where they were looking to fund their own activities. So SWIFT is the worldwide interbank uh, communications network. Simply what the SWIFT group is, network is, is a, a organisation that's controlled by a number of banks, um, which effectively provides secure communications between interbanks for money transfers. And there's encryption around that, it's a very secure network. Um, the Bangladeshi bank heist wasn't an impact, it wasn't, wasn't a, a infiltration of the SWIFT network, it was an infiltration of a machine accessing the SWIFT network. The way that the attackers actually compromised the Bank of Bangladesh network and got access to the systems to send those messages was almost certainly caused by some human element. So this is very typical. So what we see with cyber attacks, they involve some sort of email phishing, they involve possibly finding a USB key and plugging that into your network. They, apply, they involve some human element which actually enables the attackers to get hold. We started looking in different malware repositories and just open source sites and we found a sample of malware that seemed highly likely to be related to the Bangladesh bank attacks. We started investigating this further and we were actually able to uncover things that other cybersecurity companies weren't aware of at the time. So some of the money's been recovered, but $81 million is still missing. What can the investigations into the code tell us about how this happened? What systems have been compromised? 